Today, I am going to chat with you and share some perspectives about what I believe to be the uh, proper libertarian position on insurance. And I'm going to use car insurance, automobile insurance, driving insurance as the uh, kind of the primary example here, a thing we chat about. So we all drive cars, at least in the political jurisdiction uh, in which I live, and the United States. And most people have one or two or three cars, and they have insurance on all of them. I know that I do, and there are a couple reasons to have the insurance. One is that the um, controller, people in control that uh, have claimed mastery of the geographic area in which I live, have a, uh, a rule, a law, that says that you must have insurance. You must have liability insurance. And then there is just kind of a smart idea of, hey, if something nasty happens, um, whether it's my fault or not, it'd be nice to have huge amounts of whatever damage is done paid for by someone else. And that's my goal. And the libertarian position is not that insurance is to get the other person. That's not the the goal. I don't think anybody claims that that is the goal. But here's what I'm poorly explaining that I'll try to improve upon. A, a personal experience, an anecdotal experience, was a family member was in a collision and our family's insurance we've had for, I don't know, 70, 80 years, the same company, uh, sent up a fancy uh, investigator attorney to essentially slaughter the other side. And in fact, my family member was at fault in this automobile collision and just was going too fast on slick ice and, and hurt a guy and ruined his Jeep. Well, the reason that insurance should exist is so that when that happens, insurance company steps forward and says to the other party, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry this happened. Let me get you a new Jeep. Let me pay for your medical bills. Let me make life a little bit better, just slightly better than it would have been if this hadn't happened. So if you had to miss work, uh, if that kind of thing happened, let's, let's pay you that money. Let's make this right. I want my insurance company to be generous and do the right thing if I harm someone else. That's why I'm paying for, for their service. I'm not paying them to try to defeat the other person. That isn't, nobody wants to defeat someone else, I would hope. At least libertarians don't. Now, is there fraud? Absolutely. Do people exaggerate that, oh my, oh yeah, I just remembered my neck really hurts and now I can no longer become a famous football player or, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, there's there's fraud, there's exaggeration, and, and insurance companies need to make sure that that isn't happening. However, there's reasonableness. And in the example that I experienced, in the example I experienced, the insurance company was not reasonable. Their whole goal was, what can we do to not have to pay this claim? And uh, there's a whole scam, a whole way of... I don't know, there's a whole industry built around this concept. So the, the investigator slash attorney, the former cop who became an attorney and is now an insurance subcontractor, USAA calls him and says, hey, go handle it uh, in this little town. And so he comes out, stays at a nice hotel, eats good food, gets paid, I don't know what he charges, 150 250 350 an hour, whatever it was. 10 years ago, whenever this happened, and he's getting paid good money. The other side, their attorney is getting paid good money. Judge is getting paid good money. Bailiff is getting paid good money. The court clerks are getting paid good money. Now the the jurors, they're not getting paid good money. They're, they're the volunteer peers. So they're not getting paid good money. The victim is not getting paid good money. The relative, my family member, she's not getting paid good money. The people who are making money are all of this whole industry built around it. What insurance should be, and it is a good um, and honorable service that some folks could offer other folks. It's, there's nothing wrong with the insurance in general. It has a bad reputation at times, but the way that it should work is what I was explaining, 
a bit earlier, you kind of, everybody puts their money into this company. This company says, I think there's such and such probability that this will happen. If it does, we'll take care of it. We'll do the right, honorable thing, and uh, we'll make it okay for you. That's what insurance should be about. And unfortunately, it isn't about that. Uh, unfortunately, it's just become a complete separate industry that doesn't help the people who need help most. And I don't like that.